in what could be a groundbreaking discovery for cinnamon in regards to Parkinson's disease, a recent study which was actually funded by the National Institute of Health and published in the Journal of Neuroimmune Pharmacology this 20th of June 2014. Now keep in mind, this study was originally done in rats with Parkinson's disease. So it has to be carried out to human trials. But yet, the results were quite astonishing. And this is what they discovered. All right, they found out, or they knew, that cinnamon is metabolized in the liver to sodium benzoate. Now sodium benzoate is already FDA approved as a medication for uh, hyperammonemia or high levels of ammonia and is also approved as a food preservative. So chances are a lot of you are already consuming it in foods you may be unaware of. So cinnamon converts to sodium benzoate in the liver. Now they know in people with Parkinson's disease the proteins Parkin and DJ1 tend to decrease in Parkinson's disease patients. And so they wanted to see exactly how cinnamon played a role or may have played a role in keeping these levels from decreasing. Well, what they did, they took rats with Parkinson's disease, they fed them oral ground cinnamon by mouth, not injection or anything fancy like that. What they discovered was this, that when it converts over the sodium benzoate from the cinnamon, it actually enters the brain, stops the loss of the proteins Parkin and DJ1, protected the neurons, normalized the neurotransmitter levels in the rats, keep in mind, and improved the motor function of the rats with Parkinson's disease, which is pretty amazing for just something as simple as you could find in a cabinet. Now keep in mind the ground cinnamon that they use, they prefer what's called Ceylon cinnamon as opposed to other forms of cinnamon because it's a lot easier to use and has a better sodium benzoate conversion. Again, this was published in the Journal of Neuroimmune Pharmacology, the 20th June 2014. So this is a recent study. It needs human trials. However, if you're a medical practitioner or doctor, this is a fairly common element. Just make sure you get it clean, preferably organic and non-irradiated, so it maintains its active constituents. Thank you once again. Again, title called Cinnamon may be used to halt the progression of Parkinson's disease. That's their title, not mine. Thank you.